Hello caffeine fiends and welcome to another coffee review for www.getbeans.com. I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we're looking at something a little bit special because we're looking at H.R. Higgins, a coffee man limited, uh, coffee beans. Now it's not the standard coffee beans, it is the Colombia Pacamara Las Margaritas coffee beans. So a little bit about H.R. Higgins is that they um, provided the coffee for the royal houses. As you may be able to see here, they've got the little royal seal there by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen coffee merchants. So basically, these lot provide the royal households and Her Maj is uh, old Queen Liz is enjoying the coffee brew from this lot, I assume. I don't know her personally, so I can't ask, but that's what that little seal suggests, is basically that their coffee is getting into the royal households. So, under that assumption, it should be pretty darn good. Now, I'm not sure if the Queen's a coffee, coffee enthusiast or not, but I'm pretty sure she's not gonna, you know, get your standard Kenko and be like, yeah, that'll do. So, I'm hoping this is pretty good. It, I mean, but it might also be the fact that the, they're, you know, based in Mayfair and just, you know, have that image of pomp and ceremony that appeals to the upper crust. Um, I am not the upper crust, so I wouldn't know. But I've never been to their shop in Mayfair. I would love to go check it out. Um, but yeah, they do coffee and tea. Um, I'm a big, I uh, drink loose leaf tea, not as much as coffee, um, because I don't have a loose leaf tea YouTube channel or website. do have a coffee website and blog, so I mean that explains my drinking habits, but I do drink loose leaf tea. Love a good cuppa. Uh, when I've had too much caffeine, I'll switch to tea. Anyway, so I thought, oh, since I'm going to get the best of the best, I'm also going to pay a ridiculous amount for this coffee um, and not get their standard get something a little bit special so I've gone for this Colombia Bagamara Las Margaritas um, because it's something like 1535 for 250 grams now that is outrageous I'm straight up going to say that Mr Higgins outrageous but also like I'm paying presumably for the name and the quality. Let's not like, get me wrong. They like all of their marketing is around this royal seal, sense of quality, blah blah blah. Um, you know, so touch wood, that's what I'm getting. But 1535 for 250 grams is not what I would be paying for speciality coffees usually. Now, um, I've gone for this Colombian one because I like Colombian coffee mostly and it was one of the most expensive on the list and I thought, you know what, why not? Um, so notes on this coffee is that it comes from uh, the Las Margaritas farm which is renowned, renowned for its commitment to quality, innovation and sustainability. There's not much more information uh, apart from that. So I don't know how they define quality and sustainability but hopefully that money has gone somewhere good uh, now is it, they claim is it truly indulgent great love love being indulgent that's right up my street uh sits in the campo Athol region at an altitude of 1500 meters so this bean is a hybrid between the packus natural mutation of the bourbon variety Oh, uh, it's not bourbon, that's a biscuit, bourbon variety, and the Margo Gipe mutation of the Tipica varietal, hence the name Pacamara. The beans are naturally processed. Firstly, the ripe cherries laid in the sun during the time they are carefully turned over to ensure even drying. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah, so naturally dried and processed, lovely. It's a medium roast. Good to know. Now this is, now here are the tasting notes. Boozy ripe cherry. Cherry, yeah. Ripe is very specific, but boozy ripe cherry. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. And pineapple flavours. Now I've never had a cup of coffee that said pineapple flavours. 
Um, this also unlocks a light acidity. Now my initial reaction to pineapple is not light acidity, it's, it's going to be blooming acidic. Um, but light acidity is what they suggest. So boozy cherry and, right, and light acidity of pineapple is really going to... Well, I, yeah, um, I'm interested to see how that comes out. Um, anyway, we'll brew up an espresso shot, then do me oat latte. Now, as the espresso shot, the light acidity is throwing me, I'm expecting something quite tart with those flavours. Kind of tip of the tongue, you know, a bit biting. And very sweet, ripe cherry pineapple. Um... So we're good to go, grind it up, see what we feel. I am hoping for the money I've spent, I'm going to ruddy love this. That being said, I will quite happily not like it because I don't want to spend 15 quid each time I buy coffee. Anyway, I digress. Let's grind it up and give it a go. So there is my shot. And I must say, it smells, it gives off a really kind of acidic tones to its smell. It's, it's got a quite a potent, strong acidity coming from the, the you know, odours. It's, it's got a, a sting to it if you stick your nose in it, if you see what I mean. But it's a nice shot. Head, body, heart there, really coming through nicely. Darker than I thought it would be, to be honest, because they said it was a medium roast, but um, it's, it's come out you know, darker than I thought, but that's not an issue. When you open the bag, again, that kind of acidic smell. I'm going to give it a smell again, because it has this really kind of rich, almost, I can see where they're coming from, cherry. I don't know necessarily about boozy cherry, but there is a real rich sweetness coming from the smell of it. And then when you pour it out, those kind of vapours, those kind of acidic vapours hit you. So we'll give it a swig and see how it works as a shot. Mm. You know, not as potent as I thought it would be either. Um, cherry, yes. There's a nice little, very kind of vague sweetness that dances there but the acidity is very light actually um not the kind of biting of pineapple and cherry but now that i mention it there is a sort of pineapple aftertaste and let's not uh, the problem with them saying kind of ripe cherry and then pineapple is your mind instantly goes to these two very very sweet and biting fruits and that Sweetness is there, but it's not. it doesn't bite, and it's very mild. You know, the pineapple, if you think about it, you go, yeah, that's there, but it's a definite aftertaste. It comes through as an aftertaste. It doesn't bite at you, and it doesn't, you know, dissolve your soft palate like a pie, eating a pineapple would. Um, uh, so it's hard because those notes are definitely there, but it's hard to kind of get your brain to kind of go, yeah, they are there, but that's not what I was expecting. Um, but it's it's got a real kind of light sweetness about it, which I'm really enjoying. Um, really enjoying, but it's just not. I would have perhaps thought it might be a little stronger in that sense. And then, now I've let it settle a bit, that cherry smell is coming through really nicely. And it smells very fruity. And you just, I think you just would hope the taste marries up a bit. And it does not come as through as fruity as the smell would suggest. And I love it, it's a lovely, rich, kind of all-consuming smell. And it just, just uh, doesn't live up to the hype um, in terms of smell to the taste, which is perhaps a bit unfair. You can't necessarily go do anything about that um but it's a gorgeously rich i see what they mean about indulgent as this gorgeous richness to it um and i'm gonna try it as no latte see if that sort of pumps up anything or, or takes away any of that light acidity further um 
Oh yeah, I'm not enjoying that, which is odd because I don't drink a lot of black coffee, um, unless I'm shattered or you know getting a plane somewhere. Um, so I'm surprised at how enjoyable I'm finding that. Anyway, we'll give it a go as the standard oat latte that I always give a try, and see where we go. So oh, there yeah. it is as an oat latte. I will instantly concede not my greatest pour and I probably would not serve that to the Queen if she rocked up for coffee um, and I poured that. Um, but it will do for the purposes of this test. That being said, I may actually serve it to the Queen because I'm a Republican and I don't give a damn what she likes. Um, so, will this be any good as a latte? Will those cherry flavours come through? Which is what I'm sort of expecting. Um, but I wonder if the richness will just kind of be dulled. Oh. So the sweetness comes through, but almost in a very different manner. It, the fruitness is, is exacerbated, but it's not as rich. It's, it's very, the sweetness comes through a bit more. Um, and again, that cherry um, is there. I'm still not seeing the boozy cherry. I think maybe it's that's what they mean by uh, what they mean by boozy cherry is perhaps that it's not uh, like that tart uh, sweetness that you would get from uh, you know really kind of ripe, rich cherry. There's, it's it's that sort of tempered cherry of of. Uh, of a liqueur maybe um, but I am really enjoying that more so as an espresso shot than a latte which surprises me because I am a latte drinker typically um, but I fully approve of that um, so there you go it's approved by the Queen and myself um, I don't know whose opinion matters more to you but you know just saying I've never overseen the fall of an empire and I'm probably more English than she is. So, you know, I mean, you choose who you prefer to get your coffee advice from, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of really sweet in terms of, but not sugary sweet. So that fruitiness just is sitting on top of everything, really just sitting there. And you do go, yeah, cherry, 100%. Um, and, and there is, the way they say indulgent, there is a sense of like, yeah, I'd get the good biscuits out for that, you know? You know, the nice tin, not just your standard jammy dodgers. That being said, it would go lovely with a jammy dodger because that sweet fruitiness is there. But, you know, I can see why the Queen drinks it because you can serve it to, you know, foreign dignitaries without kind of going, oh, yeah, sorry, this was just the instant at the back of the cupboard. You can serve this and go, yeah, this is the good stuff. Um, you know, do you want a nice biscuit with that as well? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually really fruity. The oat milk is not doing anything to temper the cherry flavour. The pineapple kind of undertone is sort of gone. But it's coming through really, really uh, on the tip of that, you know, tongue. It's, it's, it's very, very, very fruitiness. Um, yeah, so very intriguing. Um, before I go any further, do smash those like and subscribe buttons for more kind of coffee uh, reviews and opinions um, and less kind of royalty bashing, but just in the case of this video. Uh, yeah, so enjoying that coffee. I'm going to go away and think about it, mull it over, sip it down, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So my final thoughts on H.R. Higgins Coffee Man's Pacamara Colombia, sorry, Colombia Pacamara Las Margaritas is pretty darn good to be honest i've gone straight in with the four stars i was very tempted to mark it down for the price because 15.35 for 250 grams 
man, come on. But I made that conscious decision, so I didn't mark it down because I made that conscious decision to buy the most expensive coffee that this supplier to the queen, you know, had. I made that decision. Um, and if you put the price aside, it is really good coffee, you know. Um, does the flavour justify the price? Maybe not. But if I had 1535, like if I was of high society, would I be buying that again? Yeah. Yeah, I would. So, there you go. If you're an average coffee consumer, probably not. But, you know, if you had the money to throw about, why not? Um, so, yeah. Really enjoyed that. I mean, um, just... Let's look at the kind of my notes. All pervading sweet chowness. That chowness is just comes through in the the shot and the latte, which is funny. I've not mentioned the kind of pineapple because it's so mild. It's there, but it's so mild, and it just kind of disappears into the milk if you have it as a milky drink. Smooth and rich, but not too sickly. I mean, the richness is there, but it's not as rich as you'd expect, as the notes kind of suggest. It's, you kind of drink it and you go, oh, I expected something richer. But it's not to its detriment, by any means. It's just what those flavour notes would typically suggest. And it's just not that rich. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Four stars. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe, as I said earlier. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.